All right. Let's talk about comics real quick as a medium and as an industry. Okay. If you've seen the sales data over the years, when it was available to us, when diamond was basically the loan distributor for everybody, you could see that the sales had been on the decline in terms of units. Now what they have done, fortunately, and they did do even last year with the sales reports, they would look at the number that was floating around in the media. They took credit for manga. That was one. And on the other side, they weren't accounting for inflation. They weren't accounting for the fact that like with DC, their comic books now cost more. The unit sales are down. The unit sales are down. You can look at that. It's been that way for a while and it's been on a steady decline. Now we're at a point to where they don't even report the numbers. Diamond isn't a loan distributor anymore, but they stopped reporting their numbers almost a year, a full year ago. It's April of 2022. Lunar, as well as Penguin Random House, does not report their numbers at all. If they were good, they wouldn't stop telling us about them and showing us the data. That is no longer available, and I think you can understand why. Despite what some of my crack smoking detractors like to think, I actually care about this medium, and many of you do as well. I think I'd make the argument that they don't actually care about it, and most of what they say is a projection. So as an industry, I believe that it can recoup. I re believe that it can get revitalized. But in order to do that, it's going to take acknowledging and addressing some very, very harsh realities. And that is understanding who the competition is. As a medium, when you're talking about just straight up comics, really American comic books do not, they're not winning right now. Okay. Um, it hasn't been that way since uh, about what was that 2020 when we first saw like those top 10 sales numbers with the data. And for the first time in a, like forever, like I think the entire top 20 was full of mangas. Okay. So the Japanese are kicking your butt in your own industry, in your own country. Okay. In, or rather in your own continent, if you talk about just North America altogether. Okay. And in order to fix that problem, you have to understand why that is the case. A lot of people like to point to things that aren't really attribute attributing to the problem at all. Some people like to bring up the fact that, well, it's because of the lack of, of diversity in terms of, what type of genres of comic books there are. That couldn't be anything further from the truth. There are plenty of genres, different genres, non-superhero comics that are in, uh, uh, in, in print that are especially done by like the images of the world. That, that has nothing to do with anything. When you look at it, hell, the ones that sell the best aren't the like kind of obscure kind of food mangas or something of that nature. It's the shonen stuff, the stuff with the same beat that has often a similar beat to what the uh, superhero comics do. It's just told in kind of their Japanese way of, of storytelling per se. And th that, so th that's not the problem. You have a now a current generation of people, of young people that are now growing up on like this stuff and they're going to like it going into their adulthood. So, in order to kind of make that change, you have, I either have to convince them that your material was better. It is something that will suffice while also convincing, uh, convincing, let's say an up and coming younger generation again, like we were that this stuff uh, is, is better. And this is more uh, d digestible there. It's funny. It used to be a net export. A lot of the like animators, for example, with uh, American entertainment, uh, a lot of the animators with, like uh, in the Japanese were all influenced by like American animators. That's just kind of what happened. Like all the uh, classic kind of uh, animes per se. Uh, don't take my word for anything. Just look it up. Now it's not, you're not a net exporter anymore. Enthusiasm is the key word here. You've heard me say this in previous videos. That's what it's missing. What manga has that it doesn't, that, that it, it's not the price. That's another thing a lot, a lot of people are going to point to. Well, you can get this amount. It's not in color. It's cheaper, more store. That that's, has nothing to do with it. If anything, I someone showed you that people are willing to pay whatever they want to pay and whatever is available for something that they, they can be stoked on. So the enthusiasm is missing. A lot of what's happening in American comic book industry right now with like the big two, people are reading it as a chore and people are reading it just because like it's out. It's not because they actually enjoy it. It's like, well, it has Batman on it. You grew up on Batman. So you're reading. It's not like you're stoked. Oh my God, what's going to happen in the next uh, issue volume or whatever it is. That's not what you're having. It's no enthusiasm really in the industry at all. 
And what we got was actually genuine enthusiasm. They might not like that, but it is what it is. That's what the industry is missing. It's something that is about to come out and people are falling over themselves to try to get, uh, get in on it. That's what the industry is missing enthusiasm. So how do you get it? Yeah, you can make better material for sure. Uh, that, that's, that's part of it, right? A lot of it is mundane. It, it's, it's just not, this, it's not good enough. Uh, I talked about your continuity issues. Um, it's over convoluted. It's not because these, a lot of people say, well, these properties have been existing for a long time. That has nothing to do with it. You got Dragon Ball, you got One Piece. These, these have been for, around forever. And when you consider just the sheer amount of material that gets released there, that's not the problem at all you can have old properties that can do well right now but will with between all the multiversal bull crap and the timeline see that's the part the people that act like that stuff is cool or it can be done right the people that act like that stuff is cool don't seem to understand what it actually means and how convoluted it makes your universe when people can't even di go dive in on it with most mangas you it's hey you want to get in Start at volume one. It's that simple. Good luck. Someone says, I just saw the new Batman movie. Uh, I want to get into Batman comics. Where do I start? <laughs> yeah, good luck. It's almost impossible to explain it to them. So your true competition, if you are trying to, let's say, be competitive in the marketplace of comics, it's really not American comic books. That's not to say that that uh, there aren't like Western or American comic books that are doing well. Of course there are. But who's dominating right now is manga according to the numbers. And that's in your own. And whether I like it or dislike it is totally irrelevant. Whether you like or dislike, whether you like or dislike the beat of like mangas, that is completely irrelevant. The data is the data. One thing that manga does really well, as I say all the time, is the fact that one, uh, if the character appears in another medium, uh, it sells the it sells the comic, okay? So anime is massive, right? They go hand in hand. But the reason that is, which it, it just baffles me that uh, the other guys don't seem to understand that with their movies, like one sells the other. The anime will sell the manga, the manga will sell the anime. And it's almost a direct one by one. It's almost always a direct one. There'll be changes here and there. And oftentimes that pisses the audience off when there is. It's almost directly a one by one. So you see it and you're like, hey, I want to know more about it. I want to get ahead of the story or whatever. You can go pick up the manga and get caught up. It's that simple. And that's the continuity element of it that the American comic book industry does not seem to understand. They'll put out a movie. These characters will be only themselves in name. And that is about it. That's it. There's no connection there. And that's how can you sit like so basically these different mediums are not selling each other. So when Marvel does extremely well on a movie, it's not like that character is like, OK, for for speculated for speculation, that may happen. Right. A book may sell. Uh, but it's not a thing that's going to be able to be consistent. Right. It's not like, oh, Captain Marvel books are selling through the roof because she got a movie. That's not how it works. We know how many times she's been canceled. It's not that it's not how it works. OK, because there's arguably not whole, a whole lot of, of connection there. And they're just telling different versions of the story. You seen the Captain Marvel movie, you see my Captain Marvel review. You know exactly what it is I'm talking about. There's no connection there. What's between a lot of what they did with Monica Rambo, all that stuff. You're going to read the comic books. You're going to like, that's a completely different character because it is. Enthusiasm is what this game is missing. How you get that, that's on the markets to start figuring that out. There is not one way to get it. And this is what people that hate on me, even if you are a fellow creative and you hate on me because you think that you're more deserving or other people are more deserving of the popularity and success that we got with I someone fine, do it your own way. But if you can't get the audience enthusiastic about your property, that's on you. OK, there's a million different ways to get it. And it's not me on me to tell you exactly how it's done. I told you how I did it. OK, but for you to do it whatever works for you because what works for you may not work for me and what works for me may not work for you but this game is missing the enthusiasm i love the fact that so many people are talking about i saw him too when is it coming out when it because that, that's true genuine enthusiasm they are wanting to see this 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 whole entire company and this universe continue to be developed that's what the game used to have and for, for a lot of you youngsters or oldsters let's call you that uh, folks that's been around the block you know that used to be the case where you were looking so forward to the upcoming book. And now it's like, 
well, if you guys are still even getting in on Marvel and DC, it's like, uh, it's a chore. It's a chore to read. Enthusiasm. And the, the mangas and the Japanese with their anime have done a phenomenal job of just getting people stoked on what is to come in the future. Okay. Say what you will. And I agree with some people that will say, well, like, cause there's been America, cause a lot of it has to do with the fact that, yeah, a lot of people were in the American comic books and then they got in the manga. Some people were always in the manga, but you get some people that are into like the American or the Western kind of style of storytelling in, in their comic books and will say, it's just not for me. I, I completely, uh, I empathize with that. The people that say, well, that's not really what it is that I like, but you want to see the American comic book industry do better. And that's on folks like myself. That's on a lot of creatives to do that. I don't think that you're going to really get that. From, I mean, think about who would like the big two. These guys are owned by mega corporations that probably don't even know what's going on in their in their company. You think like Bob Iger knows what the hell's going on in their comic book divisions? No, they have a person that's hired to hire to hire to hire other people uh, that are f kind of facilitating that. There's zero connection there, and um, it's like the the tails wagging the dog right now. Or the insane people are the ones running the asylum. So you're not gonna really get that. It's gonna be have to be more down to earth, like of old, in order for you to be getting pe getting things that feels like it has some level of passion and 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 people actually care about it as a as opposed to just really I don't know just writing stuff that exists to tell I don't know tell off your ideological enemies or to use a character to uh, that that is already recognized to tell your little social story like if that's what you're doing and which is a lot of what's happening in the American comic book industry nobody's going to be interested in that you need genuine enthusiasm and it's on you to get it Wherever you're viewing the content, I appreciate you. If you enjoyed it, you may be interested in my comic book company, Ripperverse Comics. Our first book and campaign, I Sum Number One, brought in $3.7 million with tens of thousands of satisfied customers. Visit Ripperverse.com to check out our store and stay up to date with the latest campaigns from one of the hottest new comic book companies. Also, my first big step towards a parallel economy was the development of my personal website, EricDJuly.com. This entirely replaced my Patreon. Now, if you enjoy this content, please consider becoming a member over at the website. We have an ever-expanding list of perks for various membership tiers, a forum, and a phone app. Some of these perks will even benefit you if you're fans of the Ripperverse. Anyway, I appreciate you so much for being a supporter and or customer. I even got a little love for my haters.